Yeah, that'll do. Hello and welcome back to the Novice Lover Jack, where obviously you know what this video is about. If you've seen the thumbnail, I got me a Chinese chainsaw. So, I am very excited about this. You may say, well, Bodhi, why are you so excited about getting a crappy Chinese chainsaw? Well, as far as I'm not so sure they're crappy. I know that some of them are, and I know that they are not yet up to the standards of our European saws, all of them. The Japanese saws, you know, look at what you got. Echo, Shindawa, um, Zenoa, which a lot of these are copies of Zenoa, from what I understand. Um, you have, uh, of course, steel. Um, and you have Husqvarna. And Oleo Mac, I believe, is still in the game. Um, Fco. So, there's a lot of chainsaws out there that this thing is not gonna live up to. But there's some really specific details that I'm gonna get into in this video as to why I am very excited about this. So, if you guys are interested, of course, stick around for the video. I have in all likelihood already shown you that I've gotten this running. And uh, at the beginning of the video, I like to put a clip of it running. That's because, you know, whenever you're throw scrolling through your feed and it, sh it shows a little bit of the, the beginning of the video to get you to click on it, it's always best to, um, to have something that people actually want to see. All right, so what this is, this is, I almost, I almost just want to give you my initial impressions immediately, but I got to at least tell you what it is. Jeez, um, this is a Weimars um, WS5818G. Have no idea what the G stands for, but I'm pretty sure the 18 is an 18 inch bar. And I can tell right off the bat by looking at it, it is. And I love an 18 inch bar on my 50cc socks. But that brings another thing up to the forefront and that is is this 58 cc's it is actually advertised as a 58 cc saw i have been told by people that know these better than me that all of them are 52 whenever it comes to the uh, 50 cc size they're not actually 58 cc's i've had other people even say even the ones that are advertised as 60 plus cc's are still only 52 cc's. We will be finding that out about this saw. I don't know if it'll be in this video or not, but it will happen. I will actually test it. So, frick, I'm excited about this. And the more I stare at it, the, the more the excitement grows, honestly. The reason I'm so excited is because, the reason I wanted this one is because in appearance, it looks very similar to my Husqvarna 55. And I will, my 55 Rancher, I will definitely be um, matching those up to see what will work and what won't work on either saw. All right, first initial impressions. I love this handlebar. It's just got your finger grips, it's, it, it's nice. I'll get a close up of that and try and add it in. But for right now, I'm gonna keep talking. Uh, yeah, I also love the color. I'm glad it, I wanted the blue. I just saw a post today on Facebook where somebody was like, oh man, I just can't love the, the blue chainsaws. And I don't know if he meant specifically, it was David, David, I don't want to give your last name in case you don't, but you might be a viewer on this channel, I think. But I don't know if it was, he couldn't like the farmer tech saws or if it was that he just didn't like blue. But I personally love seeing chainsaws come in different colors. I'm so sick and tired of orange, and especially sick and tired of the creamsicle, the orange and white. Um, so yeah, coming in a different color. 
the idea that it has to be a certain color so that you can find it in the woods is freaking stupid, if you ask me. All right, so we have a plastic case, or, or clutch cover, I mean. I fully expect this stuff to be weak. Um, uh, so always make sure that your, uh, your chain tightening bolts, these right here, the, the nuts, make sure they're loose before you actually try and adjust that uh, chain tensioner. Otherwise, that's probably pretty weak and it'll bend. Um, it's got a three shoe clutch. One, two, three. So that's that's good. That's impressive right out the gate. And um, right out the gate, I'm going to do something right here. A little trick I know of. All right. A little known fact. These things often come greasy from the factory. And that clutch will slip immediately because it's all oily from the factory. Um, so... A little bit of uh, brake cleaner. Use non-chlorinated, non-chlorinated brake cleaner. And um, there you have it. Non-chlorinated will have less tendency to give noxious fumes, I think. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm looking at it. I mean, I'm just going off of memory, but this looks a lot like the Rancher. So we'll see. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I like the look of that bar. Now, is it laminated? Yes. Yes, this is most definitely a laminated bar. Would expect nothing better than that. Oh, I want to see uh, what this fits. All right, so I have a Husky small mount and I have Poland small mount right here, right out the gate. Well, let's just throw it on there. This is Poland small mount. That fits. But the oiler does not line up. I would have to drill a hole for the oiler. Husky small mount. Again, the oiler does not fit. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. Husky small mount. It looks like the oiling hole would fit. Yeah, Husky small mount, the oiler would definitely work. So now let's see real quick. Ooh, the excitement is building because if this fits right away, then I have the possibility of running my 25 inch bar. We got to see if the, yep. All right, so I completely expected it. It seems to be that a Husky small mount will go right on this thing. And I did half already know that, but I wasn't certain. So, all right, so before we fire it up, let's have a real quick look inside the air box just to make sure the spark plug is tight and uh, see what the filter looks like. Oh, there we go. All right, it has a totally decent filter looking setup. Choke was working. We're tight. So far, this looks looks like a solid chainsaw it does you might think i'm crazy 
but it's true. Ooh, it even has an adjustable oiler. My gosh, it has an adjustable oiler. Five clicks. So I'll set it on three, so it's right there in the middle. See how that goes. It says right on the side there, 50 to one mixture. I'm running the same old juice I always do, which is 40 to one. All right, here we go. Set the throttle lock, choke engaged, switch is on. Oh, it's got one of those easy pull things. Pull. Seven pulls and we are already pumping gas. truth. This is a 49cc saw, yet they sold it as a 52cc, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a 58cc saw. So, but it's good because the John Sered 490 and the Partner 5000 Plus are both 49cc saws. And Honestly, I, I, I swear, I still, I can't wait to put this thing in wood, see what it's got, you know, see what it's got. 